Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvelous Designer course, we'll learn how we can import our custom avatar inside Marvelous Designer. Now here I have this Marvelous Designer avatar, but I don't want it to use for now. Like I want to use, in, instead of uh, this uh, Marvelous Designer uh, avatar, I want to use my own. So what I will do here, I will just select this one and delete it. And then I will go to File, Import, and the one that I have is in FBX format. You can have any one of these formats, but the one that I have is in FBX format. I will just uh, select that. Here I have Avatar, which is still, and then I have Animated. So in this class, we will learn how we can bring a still Avatar without any animation, the idle one. Now here is the animation one, which we will learn when we will move to animation class. So I will take this still, open it up and it will ask me all these questions. So I don't want camera animation, cache animation, or uh, oh, I want automatically add arrangement points to it. Plus scaling, I want it to be auto scale, move government to start position. No, I don't want that. And then I will press okay. And it will start importing it. And it is imported and you can see it is now uh, loading the arrangement point, but this doesn't look quite right because the garment itself is at a different position and avatar itself is at a different position. The height of the avatar is small. Now, in this case, you would want to go in the stop option of the 3D window and use the retarget trapping so it will arrange uh, to, to your avatar. But it will give you an error that it only works for the avatar registered in advance. Similarly, if you will do the uh, same thing with the auto fitting, it will give you the same error. That means we have to register our avatar inside Marvelous Designer. And to do that, you just have to select your avatar, go in the 3D window, choose this same option where you have the retarget wrapping. You will see an option here called Create Fitting Suit. If you will click on this, it will close the current uh, like window and it will open a new window where you will see only your avatar, just like this. What I will do, I will switch to uh, one window only so I can see the avatar. Now, here we have create fitting suit. Now, fitting suit have different body parts. Once you will create this, it will register your avatar. This is to uh, uh, like uh, let the marvelous designer know where is the upper neck, where is the lower neck, where is the waist, where is the wrist. That's how once it will be registered with these points, it will become easier for Marvelous Designer to drop, target uh, to target drop your uh, like any suit to your any avatar, and it will also auto fit it. So first, it's asking for the upper neck. Now my upper neck is basically at this part. So I will click here, and maybe somewhere here, and just I will draw a line, something. like this once you are satisfied have to be a little straight done now as soon you are done it will move to lower neck so here is the lower neck and just here and you have to make sure it is in the center Okay, and it will show you the ghost image of your uh, like arrangement points also. Now, the waist, the waist, I think should be start, the waist should start from here. And let's see. Done. Okay, then we have here elbow, uh, wrist. Okay, you can see that the rest should start from here and at this stage you have to make sure your mirror your like symmetry is on 
So it will do the exactly same thing on the opposite side of it. And your correct uh, and your uh, avatar that you have uh, imported have to be symmetrical. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, this is my elbow. So it should be on the elbow actually. Done. Now, this is the shoulder. So it should go for, come from here. Okay, now this is the upper thigh. Okay. Little bit here. Okay, now knee. Now this is the ankle. Now once you are done with this, you just have to press apply. And it will apply the bodysuit to it. This is how the bodysuit looks like. And now you have to save this and it will be, it will be added in your avatar. Uh, like a menu there so i will press save and as soon as i will do that it will take me to the marvelous designer ss avatar avatar male version 2 and i will rename it to something i will say i will call it ziki or something like you know i will give him a name ziki his name is ziki for example and once it is saved you can close it and now we can go back to our previous uh, project file. Let's open. Okay, so once it is opened, uh, we will move to the avatar. Okay, first let's go to the tool window here. Now I will do the same thing what I did last time. Deleted the avatar. And now I will go to the avatar option, male version 2. And here I have Ziki. Okay, so I will double click the Ziki and he will be added here on my uh, screen. But still you can see it's not added. So now what I can do here is select all of these. Okay, my garments. Then I will change their particle distance to 20 for now because we are doing the target wrapping and auto fitting. Otherwise it will not do a perfect auto fitting or wrapping. So enter. Now it's done, it is 20. Now what I will do here is that I will just go back, retarget the wrapping. Now it should uh, retarget uh, re to my uh, Ziki. Now see, as soon as I did that, it is retargeted, but still the size of, the, uh, of my garment is uh, huge. So, because it just have retargeted. So now I will go to the 2D window and choose this auto fitting and press okay. And it is doing the auto fitting now. And it have reduced the size. Okay. Not that much, but nearly good uh in a good way it has done it. Now what I can do is that I can select all of it, change it to five again. Okay. Once it is done, what I can do is simply go here, pull these little outwards, or you can superimpose them over. That also you can do. Okay. If you want, you can reduce the length of your. Uh, of this, the, your, uh, what you call, leaves, okay. Okay, 
There's a bit more. Okay. And here it has created this weird. Line so we can fix that. Now, once we are done with this, what we can do next is to simulate it. So I'll press spacebar. Also, sure, we can reduce it, but let's do this right now. Uh, just uh, at this point, we will just uh, simulate the sleeves. After shortening that, then we will go to the t-shirt and reduce the size of the t-shirt. But you can keep the t-shirt as it is if you want. Okay, so now you can see the simulation is done. And next, what you can do is turn this off. You can move this uh, the pockets a little bit outwards. To avoid or any overlapping, uh, overlapping, or we can simply superpose them as well. Sometimes superpose doesn't work, so you can just go remove the like uh, shorten these. Here, what we will do is that we will shorten this up. Our t-shirt. Let's see how's this size. Okay, looks pretty good. Now here, I can right click and superimpose site. So it will just go next to the shirt itself, uh, like, uh, like the border of the t-shirt. Okay, done. Similarly, same thing here. Right click, superimpose under. Oops. It was supposed to be superimpose site. Right click, superimpose site. Done. Now we will simulate it again for the last time. And here we go. We got our shirt. Now some of the parts you can fix by pulling them. Like suppose here, if this, if this is going inwards or outwards, you just pull it and it, it will fix. Okay. Or also what you can do is that you can turn off the simulation here, select this and superimpose over. Okay. And as well, this one, right click superimpose over. And anything that you want to fix, I think rest is fine. And then you can simulate it. Okay. So that's fine. So uh, that's how you can bring your uh, the custom avatar here inside Marvelous Designer. Okay, so uh, here I have fixed this as well with the superimposing. And if you find this uh, video useful, so please uh, click the like button. And if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel. Please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. 
you will get a lot of brush with that also. 